So before we start animating, what I'm going to do is I'm going to magnify on my timeline. That way I can end up seeing more seconds as well as every fourth of a second. In order to do this, you just gotta go down to your bottom right, end up clicking on this little circle on the slider, and then drag it to the left. I'm gonna do it so I can see up to 12 seconds, just like so. And then what I wanna do is I want to start doing some manual keyframes. So I want to work on my image 01 Oliver to begin. So I'm gonna end up hiding image 03 red as well as image 02 Perry by clicking on the eyeballs on that associated layer. From there, I'm gonna also go up here to where you see the little stopwatch for auto keyframe as well as the green box for auto transition mode and I'm gonna make sure that both of them are turned off. You can do that just by left clicking on each one. From there, I'm going to click and drag on my playhead, and I'm gonna end up taking this out to one second. And the one second marker is where I'm going to make my first keyframe. And for this, I'm gonna end up making sure that I'm selected on my image 01 by left clicking on it. And then, I'm gonna go up here to the top left of my properties window. And I'm gonna end up hitting this little diamond that's right beside the opacity slash translucent icon. By left clicking on it, you'll notice that it ends up adding an opacity keyframe to my timeline. So since I want this image to fade in, I'm going to change the opacity of this layer all the way down to zero. Then, I'm going to move one more second ahead, and this is going to be to the two second marker. And after I get to the two second marker, I'm going to create another keyframe. But this time, instead of going to the top left, I'm going to go right down to the timeline option right here, where it says opacity, and I'm going to click on the little keyframe right here. Now you'll see that I have successfully created a second keyframe. So this one, I want the image to come back fully. So I'm just going to left click right on the zero and type in my value of 100, and voila, it ends up coming back into play. Now the only problem I have at this moment is if I were to literally play or scroll backwards, You'll notice right away that right after it hits the one second mark, it ends up disappearing completely. And the reason being is because I ended up stating that the only time that this image would show up is on the two second marker when the opacity is 100%. So what I have to do in this situation is what's known as creating a transition. And in order to create a transition, you would go over the first keyframe out of the two keyframes you made, and you're gonna end up right clicking on this keyframe. And by doing so, that's going to give you the option of create transition. So by left clicking on create transition, I should now be able to see that it has this little green bar that's showing my opacity to go from zero to 100%. And I should also show that right here on my image 01 Oliver, it shows this little yellow bar signifying that some type of keyframe is taking place. So now if I were to left click and drag it right above, you'll see that slowly but surely, it will fade back into the picture. So then after this step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up recreating the same effect for the other two images. 